So I've got here a tablet that has really surprised me, exceeded my expectations. I'm someone that was before, until I tested this, that thought that 3D was kind of on the way out, the 3D TVs, the Nintendo 3DS, poor kind of quality screens, and, and nothing that would really be that interesting, right? But this truly is the, the next step in innovation, I think, after testing this out. Now, it's from a company called Leia Incorporated, and this is the LumiPad 2, and it has an amazing screen. So it's 2560 by 1600 resolution, 12.4 inches. And using this stereoscopic front-facing camera with real-time AI face tracking, it delivers a super immersive and pretty much amazing 3D image to you that you just wouldn't expect. I know I was completely blown away by the quality of it. Now it is the world's first AI powered tablet too. They've got a lot of apps on here that I'll be running through in this video that take advantage of the AI. And we do have a 3D camera set up. So stereoscopic camera that you can take 3D photos. We've even got 3D chat. You can generate your own AI generated images too as well. You just feed it in the information you want. For example, here I said a person walking in a mystic forest and it generated this amazing looking 3D image for me. Now this tablet does have some very good specs to it. So powered by Snapdragon 888, it's got eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. The battery that is inside this unique body housing here made of metal feels very good. So it is 9,270 milliamp hours that battery, which will go for around about seven, eight hours, depending on the use, your screen brightness, of course, and it does support 35 watt charging. Now you see here, we do have a camera. Now it's not a typical setup because of the 3D. It needs to have two cameras in there. So it's stereoscopic there. And we're looking at the rear cameras here, 16 megapixel units right there with a wide 77 degree field of view both of them f 1.85 there is a microphone here so this part is metal too as well we do have the layer logo here for the lumi pad 2 the thickness is approximately about nine millimeters and we're looking at a tablet that weighs about 780 grams it feels very solid really well made and put together. So here we do have our tray there for the micro SD card. Great to see this is on board so you can expand upon the storage with it. Just slot that back in. We've got two microphones, volume up and down, and this is our capacitive always on fingerprint reader. All you need to do is just tap it with the finger you have scanned like right now and then it unlocks. It took about uh, two seconds there to do that. There's also face unlocking with the front stereoscopic cameras too. Now the front cameras, both of these units here are eight megapixels and they do have a slightly wider field of view than the rear cameras. It's 105 degrees with these two. Pogo port pin connector here down the bottom and this is for a stand that you can get for it which is optional and there's also an optional case. Left and right, you will find dual speakers. So we have four in total and they are very loud. I'll give you a sample of just what they sound like later on in this video. Now, what we have here is anything but a normal tablet screen. I mean, when I just read out the specs to you, so we've got 12.4 inch size screen. It is fully laminated, optically bonded. There's no ugly gap. Resolution's 2560 by 1600. So it's sharp, it's bright. And I'll just show you, I'll crank this brightness right up very powerful screen and the sharpness is going to be perfect of course for the 3D and this is where it just ends as being a normal tablet display because it is anything but that. We have of course 3D. Now they're using a special layer on top of this uh, which is their own proprietary layer. So they're using nanotechnology and they call it their DBL layer. So what it is doing is refracting the image and it's converting it to make it on the fly into 3D. Now they've got something here which is called layer player here. Just open that up and here's a 3D image. Because it just didn't detect my face, I'll put it into 2D now at the moment. So with the camera, it's going to detect my face there in real time using AI because it's got AI built into this particular tablet as well. Uh, it will then convert this from 2D to 3D. So I'll just put it into 3D now when I lift it up and it detects my face which is now it's then gone over into 3D and it looks absolutely amazing. Now, when I first saw this, I was blown away by the clarity, the quality, and just how much of a 3D image this really looks like because this is popping out like and it literally almost, I can 
grab these astronauts. Now, it's hard for me to portray this and to get this across when, of course, this is shot in 2D. You have to be in person. You have to look at it. But let me tell you that this is no joke here. This 3D technology from them is amazing. Finally, some proper innovation coming through with tablets. And I've shown this to my kids with a lot of different images. And they've seen this and they've gone... Um, They've gone to go and grab the actual images that stands out that much. They've been, like me, just blown away with it. And everyone, when they first see this in the first moment, you almost need to capture their faces with a camera and record it. And I really wish I did with my daughters because they went, wow. They were absolutely just like everyone, completely surprised by how good it looks. Forget about the 3D TVs wearing glasses, 3D cinema, Nintendo 3DS. It's nothing like that. So these images, look, some of them you're looking at right now are also generated by AI, their own application, which I'll get into shortly, which is Layer Dream. So this is using AI to generate these images and they're 3D too as well. So there's a lot of different uses. This is not just a tablet for viewing basic um, made 3D images. No, it's far more in depth than that. And they've got so many different applications, which I'll be going th through. So the Lumi Pad 2 does have all your standard Android options here for the display, which is great. I'm a bit of a display geek, you could say. I love to tweak things and white balance and all that's there. Scaling is there too. Now, by default, the refresh rate isn't 120 hertz. Uh, it's on auto, so we'll automatically scale there just to save on a bit of battery. But I've forced it for, to 120, or you could put it on to 60 if you really needed to save on your battery. There. Now, other options there, they're all pretty standard, of course, dark mode and everything. Now, the gestures, just demonstrating them, they work really well. And we do have what is basically a stock launcher here. And I like this. I don't like to see bloated third-party launchers that slow things down. No, the performance, the animations, and just the response to touch is excellent with this tablet. And I like this move. I think it was very wise of them just to keep it stock and basic here and not complicate things. Now, I like what I'm seeing from Leia here, that they simply haven't put out this fantastic hardware screen and then decided, ah, oh, yeah, you know, application support, um, don't worry about that. They don't really back it up, which a lot of companies make that error that they just put out this fantastic hardware and then that's it. No, not with Leia because they have their own specific apps to take advantage of all these cool features with this particular tablet. So the AI, the 3D. This is their app store here, which is called Layer App Store. And I'll just show you that when you swipe down here for toggles, that there are automatic updates, which is good. It advises me here that I've got some new versions of their apps that I have downloaded. So they've got their own player. So this is specific to, of course, converting things into uh, 3D. So from 2D to 3D. I showed you some of that before actually with that. And I'll get onto that too later in the video, what we can do converting using the AI 2D to 3D. So your full like content library of movies, YouTube, things like that can all be converted and it's pretty clever. So I'll get onto some of that soon. Uh, their chat app here, so you can have 3D chat conversations using the stereoscopic cameras, of course. And there is a frame. So that is basically I like a slide. So slideshow here that you can start. Now I've got a few photos that are already taken. And again, just describe what these look like, that when you do have the 3D enabled, like here, it looks like a flat image, right? You're thinking that's not that impressive, but you can see my cat here, Vera, when you're looking at it in the 3D, she just comes out at you. The strands of grass are sticking out. It's amazing the quality of the camera. Again, this is something else too. The cameras, the stereoscopic camera, especially that rear one, the 16 megapixels, high res photos, it just looks amazing the clarity, how clear everything is, and the three-dimensional aspect, which of course you can't see being 2D here at the moment. But again, trust me, it's, it just will blow you away with how good it is. So another one I wanted to show you here too as well is very cool. Now this is, we've been having a lot of fun with this, which is Layer Dream. So this is using their own AI generator, okay? So this is specific to the tablet. This is something that is unique. And there's a big thing, right? 2023 is all about AI. And this, you can just give it a suggestion here. So there's one already there. So I think I, I wanted to test out something. I'll just talk to it. Tech YouTuber. Okay, it said take. That's my New Zealand accent. I'll just type that bit in manually. Let's get it to dream. So it's going to generate that using the AI. And it's come up with some very cool images. 
It does take a little while. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's the AI's idea of a tech YouTuber, which, yeah, they kind of agree with that. Look at the guy. Like, he's he's using VR, and he's got so many camera rigs set up here on gimbals. Although, this one looks weird. It's kind of hovering. But that's interesting. Now, of course, the more specific you are, the cooler kind of images you do get. Now, I did test that one before, and this is one of them that I've saved or kept here in history. And I like... This one looks pretty amazing. So again, that's like a tech YouTuber, what it thinks we are, where we like. And I thought it was pretty funny. Now, of course, you turn this into 3D and again, it, it looks really good. Like this guy's hand is coming right out. The camera is coming out at the screen when you do have it. And of course, I've got this toggle right here. So it hasn't gone over into 3D mode because it hasn't detected there uh, my face, which is normal because I'm recording all of this. Now, my daughter said a, what was it? A unicorn cat. Uh, and it came out and generated this, which is a bit weird. We've got five legs to it, but hey, it got the unicorn, it got the colors and everything else, and there's an air up there. But again, if you're more specific, you can have a lot of fun. Trust me, a lot of fun with this. What was one of the other ones I said? Uh, a distant solar system, I think it was, something like that. And that came out with a, a pretty cool looking image as well. So you can spend hours on this, and it's all in 3D too, again. And this was a, I said, a monkey's, big monkey's riding a bike or something, I think my daughter said, um, and it came up with this. A bike with two monkeys or, or three monkeys, it depends on how you look at it. So lots of fun to be had with, with this app. Now, this is a layer tube, which is a, another course, one of the applications. So these are some videos here that have already been all converted. So they're in 3D. And when you enable that again, there's, they're fantastic and it's super immersive when you look at that. So there's a really cool thing that I'll get onto that I absolutely love. So all existing content, for example, YouTube. I'll go into, where is my YouTube? Right here. Bring this up, my own video, okay, of um, a scooter review that I've just recently done. Now, if I share this, I can then go here to more and add that I want to share this to layer tube. Now, you'll see how fast this is. What it's doing is it's using the AI, Verome AI, to convert this from 2D into 3D. Now, I've tested this out before, and okay. Long ago, I reviewed a GeForce e-bike, and they do also- Wow, those speakers are loud. Um, okay, I need the face tracking, but then when you look at this, I'll just bring it up and get it to detect my face. It's really coming out at me, and like what I'm talking here in front, Okay, just there in front of the port with the castle in the background. Like I stand right out of the screen. So this is super useful that all the existing content, so just we're talking about thousands of videos and things you can then use to convert with the AI here, convert that all into 3D. So it's not like we're left high and dry and we're just stuck with 2D content. No, all the 2D stuff, you can convert that over. So that's really handy and useful. Another interesting app to use is the Layer Flex right here. So as the name suggests, that's for your movies, blockbusters, and all that sort of stuff. And this one too. So viewer, just go into this. I've got a preloaded image, and the camera now is detecting my face. I've got 3D on. So you can scale back the 3D. If you find that that's actually coming at you a little bit too much, you're finding it a bit overpowering, then simply just scale that up or down, which is good. And just to describe that when I move this about, like this sneak is coming Basically, it's coming out of the screen at me. This shoelace as well looks fantastic. The detail of this model, sharpness is good. And then you can go over to 2D now. The great thing about this is the viewer right here is incorporated with Sketchfab, okay? So you can access half a million free models, animations from them, and you can view them. You can upload your own as well. And of course, they're using that AI tech to convert those over and you get all the lighting on it, everything. It just looks fantastic, very handy app. And the camera app here, which is called Layer Cams, this is AI powered 3D stereoscopic photos. And what I love about the camera application here is look at that, okay? In the upper left-hand corner, that's a 3D preview there we get of it. So just take a photo of Gerald, Gerald now. And when I look at that later on, of course, that's mapped out now in 3D using the AI powered camera. And 5K pixels per view too. So it looks really sharp when you preview the photos later taken with the layer camera.
Then in terms of performance, with the Snapdragon 888, you can see the Antutu score is almost 800,000 points. So it's fast and it can play all the latest titles out there. We've got the eight gigabytes of RAM. The internal storage UFS 3.1, just very quickly, just to show you there. So these speeds are great. They are, they're not gonna hold up bottleneck this uh, tablet here at all. So the Lumi Pad 2 has decent performance and battery life test here. I just wanted to gauge this compared to other tablets I'm reviewing. So this was with the Brightness set at, I think it was about uh, 300 nits that I had it at, and I ran it at 120 hertz. But you are looking at around, with normal kind of light use, probably about seven, eight hours or so. So decent, good battery life out of the Lumi Pad 2. And what about the loudspeakers then? As I showed you, when we looked at the design of this tablet, that there are two of them either side very punchy speakers. They put out quite a decent volume, a little bit of bass, some mids in there. So here's a sample of them at 100% volume. They don't distort either. It's just to give you an idea that they are good speakers that they've used. And of course, no 3D tablet would be complete without some 3D games. And this one here, which is called Dungeon, I tested out. Really good. So the surrounding walls, the character and your enemies all pop out at you. So it's like the 3DS from Nintendo, but on the next level. And this other game I quite like too as well. Retro feel to it, which is called Cybercop. And just running around here, blasting the enemies, the robots. All quite immersive because of the 3D effects. So great little games just to test out the 3D and enjoy a bit of 3D gaming. So of course this is really something that you do need to experience in person. And if you do get the chance, if you ever go to like a tech fair and you can get your hands on one of these Lumi Pad 2s just to test out, just to trial and experience for yourself that 3D. Trust me, you are going to be pleasantly surprised. So just forget what you thought about 3D up until now because when you test this pad out, it, it really is coming out of the screen and everyone I've shown it to has been pleasantly surprised. And it's got that wow factor. When you see this, you just go, whoa. Uh, it's just amazing uh, that they've been able to do this with tablets. So I really want to see so much more of this tech. Now their application is quite useful and I do love the fact that Lay Incorporated here just haven't pushed out the hardware and kind of just forgotten about the software side of things and not really bothered with it because they certainly have. We've got the applications as I showed you, like the viewer, where you can convert 2D to 3D and your videos as well. So even this video that I'm watching right now, it can be converted, this video that I'm making, sorry, into 3D and you're able to watch it in 3D and it just adds to that level of immersion. Now I love the Layer Dream. I've been playing around with this a lot and with my kids too. It's so great that you can just feed into this AI um, suggestions. You just say whatever, like I, I said a, a person walking in a mystic forest and it came through with an amazing looking generated, AI generated 3D image and, and that's just uh, spectacular. It's a, it's a lot of fun to be using this and testing it out and it does have various different uses. So they've got a suite of applications, they've got their 3D chat that you can use as well, so layer chat, the 3D camera tool as well which is very handy and it's again another level of immersion once you try it, once you test this out. I really want to see a phone with this technology I think would be great and see it in other applications like maybe 3D TVs will come back if it has this, and then the, of course, real-time AI face tracking. So thanks so much for watching my video here on the Leia Incorporated Lumi Pad 2. It certainly has just completely blown me away with the 3D quality and just changed my whole perspective on 3D in general.